video um, going through the processes of artificial insemination on a dairy cow. Um, it's not a two-part video as such but hopefully we're going to have a follow-up video um, involving the vet. He's going to come in and scan for pregnancies. Um, hopefully that's going to be a video coming up later on um, but today we're going to cover um, how we actually artificially inseminate the cows. Um, so you've already seen we've picked the cow out. Um, she's come from the shedding gate so the gate has, the gate has read a tag she's got on her ear um, it's picked her out, the, the gate is all across, she's coming to the holding pen. So now we're going to prepare the straw um, and then we're going to go and serve her in a minute. Right, so this is the AI flask that we use. Um, inside of here, hopefully you can see that. That's, can you see that? Mm. It, it, this is full of liquid nitrogen in here, um, which maintains a temperature that is uh, it's really quite chilly. Um, and all these little pots here, these contain the straws of semen that we buy in. So what you can see, there's nothing in this one, um, but you can see it's, it's, a, it's a round container. So you can see they come in these little plastic tubes um, and they've got a label in them, so we know what's what. Um, full name on there uh, and, and uh, batch numbers and stuff, but these two are empty. Um, but it's lower and down, down in the bottom of there, as long as, as long as these goblets are covered with the nitrogen, um, they will last indefinitely, um, years and years and years. So what we do, we, we've got a contract with a company that maintains the level of nitrogen in this. They come in and top it up. I mean, it is forever boiling away. You can just see, hopefully you can see, um, that, that vapour coming out because that nitrogen wants to be a gas. Um, but we want it to stay as a liquid and that's, and that's when it keeps the stuff cold. Um, but all we've got in the stock at the minute is Belgian blue, or British blue they call it nowadays. And this is in the blue one, obviously, where else would it be? So there, you can see the straws in there. I won't take it out because we don't want them to thaw out. Um, but that's what we're going to be using today. Um, so we'll go through the process of, of thawing one out, um, and then we'll go and put it in the cow. Right, so the temperature of the thawing water is pretty critical. Um, so we got this little indicator that will change colour uh, if it's right. So first of all we just stir the water up a little bit to get a uniform temperature. Uh, drop the temperature sensor in for a few seconds. Here we are. 36. I don't know if that's picking up. So that's, that's bang on. Straight. straight from the flask to the water, lid back on, stop that evaporating, um, we'll give that a little time to thaw out. Right, so this is the straw. It's got all the details on there. It's got the AI code, ball name, all sorts of numbers I don't understand, lot numbers, batch numbers. It's very small writing. I'm not sure if you can pick it up or not. Probably can't focus on that, it is tiny. Right, so we'll uh, take the gun, just warm the gun slightly, just bit of rub your hand up. Grip it tight and pull your hand out, that warms the gun. Straw in the end. Right, 
as you can see it doesn't the semen doesn't go right to the end we get a little bit <clears throat> a little bit to cut off so we'll nip that off put the plastic sheath over it Put the paper towel on, keep it warm, keep the chill off of it. That's it, we're good to go. Right, so this is the app we use to record the services or, or any, any action we take with the cows. Um, it's the Uniform app. It's run by uh, NMR, but I think other companies use it as well. So what we do, so that was cow 63. So what we do, we type in the cow's number at the top. We put 63. So then this brings up the page specific to this cow. So it tells us her date of birth, uh, her age, uh, four years. Um, what group she's in, we only have one group, just milking group. Um, status is open. Um, so you can see her last calf, 8th of December 2018, and that was her third calf, and that's 52 days ago. Um, last heat was the 9th of January, um, and that's 20 days ago. So the uh, the reason we don't serve, there's, there's a waiting period we take of around 40, 42 days. Um, so 20 days ago, she was too early to serve so we put her down as a heat um, and she's come bull in 20 days later so a cow's cycle is sort of 18 to 22 days ish 19 to 22 days um, so we're bang on that it's normally it's normally 21 but there's a bit of a range so so this page we what we can take from this page press that bit up there and there's all sorts of details that this holds for the cow um, there's two previous calves there and the date um, we can go what well, her, her lactation history of what she's done um, butter fat and protein and total yield, yield totals there um, we can do the last uh, last milk recording we did 15th of January so she gave 26.4 litres of milk 3.64 fat is a little bit low we'd like it to be higher uh, 3.12 protein and a cell count of 64 um, what else do we have there milk meter no nothing under that one So there's there's the reproduction button. That's what's happened in this this lactation so far. Just one calf, obviously the calf in, and and she's been in heat. So we'll go back to uh, no, we'll go back to general, which is where we started. And um, we'll press this button down here, and there's all the actions we can take. So we've done an insemination. So put that in there. So today's date, 29th of January. That's the animal number at the top there. Um, DIY AI, and we will select our bull. And that'll bring us a long list of bulls. So we go down to find the one we want, which was New Pole Coyote, Coyote there. So we'll press that. That's come in there as the bull. We'll press the tick. Now she's changed to, to change the yellow colour at the top there. Um, so status has changed to serve. Last insemination is today. That's the bull. So it's now calculated she will be expected to dry off 7th of September. Is that focusing? Yeah. Um, 
with an expected carbon date of the 2nd of November 2019 and an expected carbon interval of 329 days. So assuming she holds to that service, um, the, the aim is to, for a calf once a year, so that's a 365 days. So if she holds to this service, she will calve less than a year since she last calved. So we'll, we'll uh, hopefully, 21 days, she could come bullying again. Hopefully she'll hold to this service and then we can scan them in around 32 days. The vet comes in with an ultrasound scanner um, and, and then we'll know. If she hasn't come bullying, we'll, we'll shut her up uh, and, and she will see the vet. And then we will know if she's pregnant or not. So on the on the phone you just seen that's how we record stuff now. Um, this is how we used to do it. Um, this is called a Bray calendar. Uh, I assume it's made by or designed by Mr. Bray. I'm not sure why it's called a Bray. Um, but what it is, all these this is made of metal. The whole the square bit's made of metal, and every cow gets a magnet. You can pick that up. That's number sixty three. We've just is it folk? Can't focus on that. That's number 63. Okay, so that's the cow we've just done. So every cow has a magnet, um, and every side of this magnet is a different colour. So you can see the colours on here. Um, so when they're a cow is freshly calved, you, you turn her to a white, put the white side out. Um, when you see her bull in, but you don't serve her, you turn her to green. So we'll put the green side out. And um, when you AI them, what we've done today, we go to orange. Um, when the vet comes and PDs them, Confirmed in calf, we turn to purple, um, and you draw them off, they go yellow. So you can see various colours, this is all out of date now, I don't use this, but we're just showing you what it used to be like. So today's date is the 29th of January, so that's up in the top corner there. So what we would, today, this cow today, we would, she would have been, we did see her bullet, so she would have been green. Today we've served her, so we're going to, Turn our pointer to the 29th of January. We've got her on orange. And we're going to put her under this service hand here. Okay, so we'll slide her there. Now, every day this ticks round one. So all the dates around the edge, so this ticks round one, one, uh, one section a day. And as you can see, the cow stays still. But all the pointers move around as we go. And when we get to here, this is sort of 40 days time. When they, when anything after this arm can then be seen by the vet. Okay, so then, because we've done it right, everything, obviously, uh, she's gonna turn to purple now, so she will be in calf. Um, and that will give us a calving date of November. Um, and then we will come round, the days will tick by, and they'll fall off. So days will tick by until this drying off arrow. That's coming round now. So, we will dry her off. Today's date point will be the 1st of September, so we would dry this cow off then. Um, and then we would go around and she would calve. Obviously she's gonna calve bang on time. So what we would do then, we would turn her to, to white because she's calved again. And then what we would go on, if she was to come bull in once she's calved, if she, if, she, if she was coming bullying today, look on the, say, what's that, the 5th, 5th of December, we would pick her off, we would turn her to the green, and we would move her anti-clockwise, put her under that green, that green arm. Okay, so then we would go on again, and she should come bullying again, oh, that's 21 days there, she should come bullying again. If, say, she comes bullying, if she misses a cycle, say, and she, comes, she settles down to a regular cycle, she comes bullying here, we could serve her, say, that's the 4th of January up there. So we would then turn around to orange again. Oh, there's another one on the floor. And we would put her there, she would do another cycle. And every cow's got a block, so that this is this is kind of our calving pattern here. Um, so that hasn't changed a lot. Um, and then there's a few in the spring, and we get a gap here. There's no there's no calvings here at all. So we get so we have a have a break. Um, so that's how we used to do it. Um, it's very, very reliable until the things fall off on the floor, then, then, it, then it all goes to pot. Um, but it doesn't break down. Um, the convenience of having it on the, on the phone is, if the vet's here, probably you'll see that when, in, in the PD video. Um, we sometimes check dates. Um, it's easy to just, just get the phone out, 
call them up rather than having to run back in here uh, and, and check this. So modern is, it is better, but um, this, this lasted us a while for many years. Uh, and this is actually the second one we had, because the first one, is it, I think it's a, this is the second one, yeah, because the first one went a bit too rusty. Uh, and when it goes rusty, you can see it's going a little bit here. Um, the blocks don't stick for well on the rusty bits. So, um, so that, that's a brake calendar. Still very useful, but we don't use it anymore. So that'll be the end of this little video. Um, please come back next time when we will uh, get the vet in and he will bring a scanner um, and he will do ultrasound scanning of PD in and hopefully we'll see number 63 and we'll see her in calf. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.